Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, and welcome back to, well, I guess my channel. It has been quite a while since I've uploaded any kind of content, and that's not because I've given up or anything like that. It's just because I haven't actually had the time or energy to make any kind of videos or even play the games. I haven't really been playing any games lately, let alone have the ability to make videos about them because, like I said in a previous video, I got a new job, and lately the job has been very physically and mentally draining because we've been doing lots of overtime, lots of 10-hour days, six days a week, that kind of stuff, and it's just been wearing me out. I come home and I'm like, I don't want to do anything. And I don't do anything, really, except try to relax and recover and get ready for the next day. But the holiday season is over, and the work is starting to normalize, which is weird because my work has nothing to do with the holiday season, but it's just kind of happening that way. And I now have the time and energy to actually sit down, play, and record games. And although... This gameplay is kind of old, it's from the first few weeks of Titanfall 2's release. I have finally had the time to sit down and start playing again, which is awesome because I missed playing my games. I need them. But anyways, I want to take some time and I want to talk about Titanfall 2 a little bit. My kind of thoughts and experiences with the game. And I know it's way past due for this, but like I said, I haven't had time. I didn't have time to give my thoughts on the game. And now I've actually had quite a bit of time to play it and kind of really refine how I feel about the game and kind of articulate how I feel about it. So, let's just go ahead and start talking about it and comparing it to the first Titanfall and talk about what they've done better, what they did worse, things they could improve in this one, and talk about the potential future or lack thereof of this series. So, first of all, Titanfall 2 is kind of weird when you look at it in comparison to Titanfall 1 because it's done both worse and better than its predecessor, which is really weird. And that's mostly because it hasn't sold as well as the first Titanfall. It hasn't sold as well as a lot of people anticipated. It has done very well, but not as well as it probably should have done. And so it's done worse than the first Titanfall in that regard, as far as I'm aware, last I checked. And the where, where it's done better is that it's more critically well-received than its predecessor. This didn't have the whole issue of living up to the hype. People weren't as overly hyped for this game and actually I think they weren't hyped up enough for this game it was kind of weird it was like they almost tried to avoid hitting that overhype that they had from the previous games they still did a very fairly aggressive marketing campaign but this game was not treated as the second coming since the same way that the first Titanfall itself was so let's talk about the things they did different and talk about like their improvements and things that I think they did worse than the previous Titanfall so Titanfall 2's probably biggest change is the fact that the Titan is no longer as customizable as it was in the first one. In the first Titanfall, you had three chassis, a light, medium, and heavy, and then you had the Titan uh, weapons and their basically their perks and everything else that you could customize them with. And that was all fine and dandy, but it was really good to take just like a medium class with the 40 millimeter and just kind of do your thing. However, in... Titanfall 2, you have six Titan chassis, and these chassis are all very unique in the way that they work. You have, you know, the Scorch, Ion, uh, North Star, Ronin, you have six different chassis that each have their own play styles, advantages, disadvantages, and they all function so completely differently from each other. And this is a kind of a double-edged sword in the idea of what it changed how the Titans work. And that was not a sentence in English, I apologize. But I hope you get what I'm trying to say. This is both a good and a bad thing for this game because you have the different Titan chassis that allow you to play in different ways. Like right now I'm playing with the North Star. It is a very mobile, very powerful Titan from a distance. It is really good at hit and run tactics. It has a really good anti-personnel weapon in the cluster missile. And you can see I'm following a Legion right here. The Legion is a very heavy, very slow, very cumbersome face tank kind of uh, titan that basically says you can hit me with everything you've got, I've got the armor to take it, and I've got a giant minigun to take advantage of the fact that I have that armor. And this is both good and bad because what it lets them do is it lets them give them all these unique skills and capabilities like you saw I just activated the flight core. I have these traps that I can lay. The weapons can have their own synergies, such as Tone having the synergy between its 40mm tracking cannon and the rocket launcher on its shoulder that's mounted on its shoulder. You know, you get three shots, then your rockets lock on, then you fire a barrage of rockets. 
it lets them do all these fun things like give scorch synergies between these gas tanks and its napalm weapons so it can create these big fire traps it lets you do these unique awesome things with these different titans that give them all their own personalities but at the same time where that double-edged sword comes in is the fact that the titans also have these weird balance issues like right now i'm using this flight core this flight core is i think the worst thing in the game i absolutely despise the flight core it's not very powerful its dps is not very high it cannot finish a fresh titan off from just pure firepower like a lot of the other cores can like the uh track the uh the core from the legion the core from ion and the core from tone can all kill a titan from full health whereas the north star's flight core cannot kill a titan from full health and then you also have the idea that you have this weird system where you take the weakest physically weakest titan the one that can take the least amount of damage and then you give him a core that forces him to get close and makes him the most vulnerable because you're talking about a light sniper hit and run guerrilla tactic titan that is meant to hit you from a distance and get out of there and you're going to give them an ultimate ability that says we need you to get close and we need you to get up in the air where everybody can see you and shoot you. It has this weird anti-synergy and there's nothing you can do about it. So I think they had this great idea of creating these different titans with their own personalities, but I think they could have used significantly more customization within each titan as opposed to just a set of perks and that's it. I think there could have been some really good weapon customization options. I think they could have added different cores that can be activated like Flight core just isn't good. They could have added anything else, some kind of like super insta give with the with the plasma cannon. They could have given you a different option for charging it, like maybe charging it turns it into more of a shotgun as opposed to a high-powered energy shot like this one. They could have given you many more options because they had the different personalities to take advantage of. It's like this idea between a classless RPG and an RPG that has traditional Dungeons and Dragons classes. When you have a classless RPG, you can't really do anything super awesome special unless you give some form of specialization, like a class. Whereas something like World of Warcraft, you can give each different class powerful ultimates, and you can give them all these awesome abilities because each class has their own synergies and their own personalities. And they could have done that with these titans. They could have given them not necessarily talent trees, but much more customization within them to make them their own unique kind of things like the North Star could have had different ways where it could be fighting from a distance like what if instead of having the charge beam charge up you could aim in and you would just fire off single shots that were weaker but significantly more accurate and traveled faster so you had almost a 40 millimeter cannon effect to it you know you could do these different things with these Titans and let them help with their hit and run uh, capabilities and then changing out their cores for different maps in different situations like right here the flight core I get stuck on the ceiling right here I can't move forward <laughs> there's really nothing I can do and it just makes me more vulnerable it's kind of useless because it's like you want to take the most vulnerable vulnerable Titan and put it up front now in the end I do think the idea of giving each Titan chassis its own personality its own capabilities I think that's awesome I think it's a really good idea because it says well hey a scorch is coming this way whereas in Titanfall 1 you could just say like oh there's a vanguard there's a heavy there's a light you know you you could only really say so much about a Titan to prepare your team for what was coming around the corner but now if you say hey there's a scorch coming that generally means that fiery death is coming and you need to do certain things in order to avoid it stay up off the ground but if you tell your team that like oh an ion's coming or a north star's coming that means something completely different and that soaked up a lot more of this video than what i expected to talk about but that really seems to be the biggest thing for me is just the way the titan chassis work and how they change it because i think that has actually had the biggest impact on the game more so than anything because all the other changes are kind of minuscule it's mostly just some weapon rebalances and the way your loadouts work and giving you all these little abilities which i think is really good i think they're on the right track but i think they're kind of missing the point of a lot of the customization i think the customization in titanfall 2 and in titanfall 1 is really weak and i think that's their weakest point i do applaud the idea of having fewer but more meaningful selections like having like maybe one or two burst fire rifles as opposed to four or five that are all basically the same like what call of duty does call of duty has how many smgs and how many assault rifles that all basically do pretty much the exact same thing i'd rather have fewer more varied options within those classes as opposed to being over inundated with lots of different options and i'd like to see that customization kind of exploited from there give me like three good different well-balanced assault rifles 
and then let me customize the hell out of them. And do the same thing with the Titan chassis. Make the Titan chassis significantly more customizable, but allow them to keep the personality that they have. This way you can just create a nice battlefield situation where everybody feels as customized as they want to. They're playing the way that they want to. They're using the weapons they like, with the attachments they like, with the abilities they like, and the perks that they like. And then they're using the titans they like, with the abilities that the, they like on their titans and the weapons they like on their titans. But at the same time, you can say, hey, this, it, this titan has this personality, so it can only do these certain things. North Star cannot do close quarters combat against other titans, uh, Scorch has really difficult time taking down individual pilots unless it's, you know, a good shot or it's in the right area. You know, you can exploit their strengths and weaknesses and you can say, okay, we're going to take the strengths of North Star's sniping capabilities and make it even better in exchange for making everything else a little worse. I think that Titanfall 2 is a great game. I think that there's a lot of business practices that need to be supported in the game, and there's more about that that I want to talk about in the future. But I have definitely over overshot what I wanted to talk about here, and the gist of everything is, Titanfall's biggest problem, I think, since the first game has been its lack of customization. Because that has been the thing that has driven player players to play games for hours and hours and hours on end, and there's nothing wrong with having that treadmill of unlocks. That is something very satisfying that makes games like Call of Duty so much fun when you can just keep unlocking things over and over and over again because you want to unlock them. Just make sure the unlocks are meaningful. That's why Call of Duty's unlock system is so overwhelming now is because there's so many unlocks that are simply pointless. And I think Titanfall has a really good grip in an area where they can say we're going to take these few weapons and we're going to let you do lots of awesome things with them but each weapon is still going to have its own awesome personality and each weapon will have its own niche and its own roles and it'll do everything you want it to do and then you can make it your own i think that's where it has to be in terms of customization and i guess on one little note before i forget about them the burn cards i think Getting rid of the burn cards was both a good and bad idea. I like the idea of having the boost partway through getting to your Titan. I think that was a good way to do it. But I do miss the idea of having a select starting kill streak that you either save, use periodically, or burn right at the beginning to try to get an early advantage. I think burn cards were a good idea, but you should not have had to open them in packs, if that makes any sense. The idea of having the burn card slots but not getting the cards at random. I think I think the burn card system was better. I think it would need to be implemented into a future installment, but we'll talk about that in another video because that is a whole big whole big discussion on its own. This one turned out to be pretty much about the Titan chassis, but in the end, like I said, it all comes down to customization. Overall though, Titanfall 2 is an A plus game in my opinion. I love it to death, and I am probably going to keep playing it until something else pulls my attention. So, now that I actually have time to start making videos again, I am going to do everything I can to just kind of upload a little more regularly. It might not be daily at first, but I am going to try to work my way back up to having at least one video a day once I get a good schedule going and everything else like that. So thank you everybody for your patience, I really appreciate it, I'm excited to get back in the game, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.